Welcome everyone out of the woo here. That is a train. A Metrolink train. But be careful because that train has no train horn. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog channel. I didn't hear a train horn. You didn't hear a train horn. What does no train horse sig train horn? Train horn significance have to you and I? That's the question of the day. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the daily transportation episode of the Daily Woo. You see cars driving by, you see people walking, you hear me uncaffeinated, still early enough in the morning to where I am not coherently functioning and formulating words, and you see my transportation of the day, my bicycle right there on the ground. And it's actually in the way. A lot of people walking by are actually being hindered by my bike. I should not have actually parked my bike right there. And you can actually see the chunk of grass right there that I actually festooned up from the ground by putting my kickstand. Never try to plant a kickstand in the ground because what will happen and end up ripping up sod and ripping up grass. Always park your bike with the kickstand on concrete or some sort of solid area. That woman right there riding by on her bike probably knows how to put the kickstand down on the concrete as opposed to, see, I'm completely in the way. She actually had to drive off onto, let me actually move my bike out of the way. I'm always in the way. Have I done the intro yet? It's the daily woo. And look if you notice something about this sign. What about this sign is unusual? Read this sign, warning. Does it say, watch for trains approaching in both directions? Does that sign say, warning, watch for trains approaching in both directions? If you think that sign says, warning, watch for trains approaching in both directions, raise your hand. Okay, great. We have now taken a poll. I was actually thinking that said that as well, but actually it says, warning, watch for trains, trains approach in both directions. So it's kind of confusing when you have trains at the end of this, actually over here, watch for trains, and then another word, trains, right next to it without a period. Kind of confused me. Watch for trains, trains, approach in both directions. Watch for trains, trains, approach in both directions. Watch for trains, trains, approach in both directions. Now I understand exactly what that sign mean. Here's another form of public transportation when it comes to buses. A lot of people when they're commuting either to work or to school or to visit or to travel around bigger areas of cities and suburbs, they take public transportation. Maybe one day I'll do a vlog on some sort of public transportation. I have not ridden the bus in quite some time, but it would be cool to do some bus adventures, some train adventures. And the no train horn thing is very interesting. And I realize this because all through the area of Orange County, up into Los Angeles County and LA and all the nether regions of the greater Los Angeles area, these Metrolink, which is the company, the corporation that actually takes people to and fro to commute to work or to school, they actually do not use a train horn, meaning that when they come to an intersection back in the olden days, I'm thinking, correct me if I am wrong on this train horn scenario, Back in the olden days when they would approach an intersection like this, the conductor or, not the conductor, who is the person that actually drives the train? The conductor is the person that brings people on and lets people off of the train. The person that's driving the train would be pulling down on the train horn, honk, honk, not like a truck would do, but how's a train horn sound? Honk, honk, or whatever that train sound is but because there's so many local residents living nearby, working nearby, they do not want to hear a train horn 518 times a day. That's what the no train horn sign means. Look, 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 look. Now, am I correct in assuming that? I did not do any research beforehand. I just woke up literally a half hour ago. I jumped on my bicycle right here. I've been riding all around this area for probably about the last 10 minutes deciding what could I vlog about and then it hit me. It hit me when I saw this and luckily the train did not hit me because I have abided by this 
sign, which is very clearly understandable that trains come in both direction. A train comes down this track, and there's a second track that this drive by. And this is actually a little delay. It's a couple days older. I should have brought this up in the vlog a couple days ago, but there was actually a Metrolink accident down the road. I believe that way. It could have been that way. I have my directions kind of confused, but it was actually a little bit north of Los Angeles. I believe in the town of Oxnard, which is along this Metrolink track, I believe, along this exact Metrolink track. But the Metrolink train that's commuting people to and fro every day from work actually derailed. It actually hit a truck in the middle of an intersection like that. So I'm wondering, in a situation like that, if there is a truck across the train tracks, like if, let's say if that truck was the stop, and that's actually a Metrolink truck. So how ironic would it be if a train was actually to hit a Metrolink truck and it's actually a Metrolink train? That would be a double collision of Metrolink idness. Okay, we're going to witness a train coming through. Go on Google, look up the Metrolink California accident between the truck and the train. You always see in movies train derailment. So just imagine what a train derailment would be like. So imagine this train that's actually coming towards us. See this train right here? Imagine that train all of a sudden shifts off of the track and starts to flow towards us and then flips over. I believe no one was actually killed in the accident, thankfully. But there were a lot of people injured. I think 29 or 30 people injured. And when I'm talking about train injuries, it actually scares me enough to where I'm actually going to get away from the train. I'm going to stand right here as the train goes by. Anytime I think about public transportation and accidents, like plane crashes, train wrecks, I always think of Superman number one when Superman is talking to Lois Lane before they go on their little flying excursion and he tells her the safest form of travel is actually plane travel. The odds of getting in a car wreck, of being injured or perishing in a car wreck, are actually greater than being on a plane. And I would probably say the same about being on a Metrolink or any other passenger train for that matter. It's kind of all laws of averages. Of course, when something like a train derails, it ends up on the news. Luckily, in this situation, no one actually passed away or perished, just a, a few injuries, actually a lot of injuries, but no one actually passed away, which is actually very good to hear. So here is my question, here is my conundrum and my thought that I want you to chime in on today. What is the safest form of transportation when it comes to commuting, when it comes to traveling, when it comes to going either cross country or localized, community, 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 commuting the community. This is what happens when you do not become caffeinated before a vlog begins. So let's chime in. Let's have a discussion. How do you commute? Do you take your own car? Do you take a bicycle like I have? Do you take the train? Do you take a bus? What do you take? Do you walk? Do you run? Do you jog? Do you sprint gracefully? How do you transport yourself to not only your home, but also to your work, to your friend's house? What is your mode of transportation? And what do you deem in your mind, what is your opinion on the safest form of transportation? That is the topic of today. Kind of an insightful daily woo, a little bit of a homework assignment I have for you, because I want you to put on your thinking caps. I have my thinking hoodie on, which it's weird because when I put my thinking hoodie on, I'm no smarter than I am when I have it off. So either way, off or on, off or on, I still am never thinking coherently. Have a great day. Check down below for my teachers at thewoo.spreadshirt.com. Got some good daily video ideas coming out very soon. Going to have some good, awesome, epic daily woos in the near future. And as well as the Adam the Woo channel, I'm actually doing a little recognizance work. Not only today, tomorrow, and the next day, I have some good ideas for some main channels and some daily woos. Hopefully they come true, and hopefully I can bring them into your eyes, from my camera, into your nether regions of your eye sockets. 
All right, have a great day. This guy was very confused by my eye socketness that I was just staring at you. His transportation is walking. My transportation is biking. The people that were just on the Metro Link, their transportation is taking a train. And my throat's transportation is <clears throat> clearing it because clearly I need some sort of beverage and some sort of water. Remember what I said about the kickstand? Let's all take this into consideration. If you're going to plant a bike, I use that word plant ironically because you cannot plant a bicycle's kickstand like a plant. You can't take it and you can't insert it in the ground and expect it to grow like a normal plant. But if you're going to plant a kickstand, plant it on something very solid like this as opposed to this or you will rip up the sod like I did. I've desecrated the grounds of Orange County and I apologize and I apologize to you for this vlog. This is kind of an unusual blog. You never know what you're going to get on the Daily Boo. It's an unedited adult blog I do every single day. It's unedited and random and impulsive. Sometimes I talk about some weird stuff. Sometimes I pick your brain. Like today, I'm picking your brain, man. Let me pick that little brain and bring it in to my world. And sometimes I go to abandoned places. Sometimes I go to theme parks. Sometimes I go to wacky roadside attractions. And sometimes, who knows what you're going to get. Remember, everyone remember, warning, watch for trains, trains. Watch for trains, trains. They approach from both directions. I love you guys. Thanks for dealing with my rambling, incoherent inadequacies on a daily basis. Goodbye.